Jim, eight, eight weeks for Dylan. What's your reaction to, to the ban he's been given? Um, it's a disappointment that he's, he's been banned for eight weeks. Um, but I think until we see the written statement, the written judgment, then uh, you know it's probably unwise for me to comment any further. Yeah, I mean, would you, once you've seen that, you're considering appealing that? I, I think so. Yeah, I think you know you've got to see what they say, um, uh, and then we'll take the appropriate action. Yeah, I mean, it seems a little rough on the club as well, considering it was on international duty, but it's the club that's taking the punishment, not England. Uh, yeah, ultimately that is, and uh, I'd, I'd guess you know, in a in an ideal world for a club, if somebody gets um, banned. Um, in international matches, then what they do is miss the X number of international matches. But you know that's not the way it happens, and it's unfortunate for us at Northampton that we will, uh, you know, not have him back for the next eight weeks. Yeah. And how has Dylan taken the ban? Must be pretty good. Yeah, he is. He's he's, he's naturally very uh, disappointed again with, with the outcome. He was uh, looking forward to you know, competing the, the, the final. Eight week, uh, final few weeks with us, uh, with the running, and then of course going to South Africa with with uh, with England, and uh, uh, he's still got a chance, of course, to finish the season with us. But uh, he, we're, we're going to have to do the hard work without him. You got the Callum Clark one coming up. I mean, there's been suggestions for some cause that these two sightings kind of tarnished the image of the club. What would you say to those suggestions? Um, well, again, you know, the, the Dylan Hartley one was done on England duty, so uh, that's slightly different. Um, the, the Callum Clark is, um, it, it's happened. It's, you know, we're not the first and only club who've had player um, cited, and uh, you know, I, I do expect that he will get suspended for for, for, for a, an amount of games. Um, so I don't, we're, we're not a dirty club. I think um, I think the people who see us play the game know that we're not. Our players don't go out to intentionally hurt. Or, um, or damage other people. You know, we, we play hard, we play physical, um, but we, you know, we, 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 we always try to play within the laws. Absolutely. We've had a number of our in England internationals injured and are currently injured, so it is a frustrating time when uh, those players are not available to play for the club. You may have to bring in Team Arna Harrison this weekend. Is he ready for the step up, if that's the case? Yeah, I don't think that's a question of bringing him in. He's already in, he's in the squad. He came on last week, which is fantastic for him. And, um, you know, it is all about the squad and, and it's it's... I guess unlike what we've had in the past, because we've um, in the past we've done well on the injury front, we've not had many suspended, um, and you know we've had generally a, a close to a full squad to choose from. We, we've got a number of people out, whether that's disciplinary or injuries, um, but that's why we have our squad, and the players have got to come in and step up and uh, you know enjoy the challenge. Yeah. And Bath this weekend is a place where Saints have traditionally struggled in recent years. What would you? What do they need to do to, to put that right this weekend? I think it's pretty simple. I think we've got to play better than Bath. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and by that, I mean, I don't think we've been unlucky when we've been down there the last couple of times. I think Bath have deserved to win because they've played better than us. And uh, they've got some key individual players who you let them get on the front foot, you let them get into this offloading game, you let them, the crowd get behind them, give them a lift. Then they're a tough, tough side to, to control and contain. Um, so what we need to do is we need to impose our own game plan. We need to get you know get some good ball in, in the forwards, uh, use it wisely, and then when we defend, we need to do that accurately. Yeah, I mean Matt Banahan's been causing problems for Saints in the past. Is he someone you've got to especially target? Yeah, I don't know if Matt Banahan will play. I don't think he played last week. I don't know if he's injured or rested, so he wasn't in the team last week. But we've got some uh, similar lads, you know, big carrying ball players who again like to offload. And uh, what we've got to do is we've got to make sure we. we them and, and stop them playing that game.